Hi, this is Dr. C, and this is Analyze Your Citations using reciteworks.com. Visit reciteworks.com, and you're going to click on Login Safely with Google, click the Check Now button, click Paste, copy and paste your text into the box, and click Check. The reference is there at the bottom of the slide. Let's go try it out. Well, here we are on the site. You'll notice it says reciteworks.com, and we're going to click Log in Safely with Google. If you're logged into your Google account currently on another browser, you're good to go. So I've clicked it. Now I'll click the Check Now button and the Paste. Now I could check sixth, APA 6th edition, APA 7th edition, which is currently in preview, or Harvard. I'm going to use 6th edition. I'm going to select my document, and one thing you have to remember about your document is you must have a references section for this to work, and citations. Right click and paste your content into the box. Click the check button here at the bottom. And here is our document. Now, I can expand these three arrows and look at any problems with my content. Let's see what we have. I have two citations that may need attention and 37 citations total. I have seven references that may need attention. It looks like I have some alphabetical order issues and 30 references total. Now let's expand the article and scroll down. You could see the citations flagged within the article. This is a copy that's sitting on RecyteWorks, and I can click on these to bring up the reference in context, so it'll float as I hover or click on any of these. That's very handy in case you have a typo in author name or the wrong year, you can see it in context. Well, let's take a look at the references really. Now, the problem here is that I have a two-author reference, and I have a three-author reference, and then I have individual authors. So the problem is, Colloin as an individual author should be in front of these multiple authors in alphabetical order. And notice the little flags below that says this is number one, number one, should be number two, so it's trying to help us out on that. Let's scroll down a little further. Here I have a problem with a reference that has more than seven authors. It's a reference to Star Trek, The Next Generation, Season 1. And Gene Roddenberry is credited for being the writer and producer, and Paramount Pictures, of course, for producing it. You will notice that there are three dots that are separated by spaces. And that's important. That is in lieu of all the author names that I was unable to include. What this uh, instruction is saying is that I needed to put an ampersand. They're thinking it goes right here, but it might really go here. Check on APA style to figure that out. Now, do you see the GS next to these references? Let's scroll up and click on one of them. That is for Google Scholar, and it'll open up a new tab. And if I scroll down, I can see the book that I'm referring to, The Poetics of Space. So I could get information about my reference and clarify it in case I had a problem. Here is another one. If you're citing YouTube movies, you often cite the the name that appears in the YouTube listing. 
and this is the name that appeared in this particular one. Now the reason I'm listing two different author names is because uh, Drax created this and it was for a research grant and I he's someone I know you know <laughs> and of course I wanted to credit him for his work as a as a person so I'm using an alternate form for this style and here's another important tip when your publisher gives you a modified APA instruction always follow it remember the publisher is always right well let's look at our citations now here anytime you mention a year or a date it wants to treat it as a citation. Remember, most of the time your facts are going to need citations, especially in a research paper. In this case, I'm, I'm reciting an account of um, where someone talked to me at a conference, right, <laughs> from the National Science Foundation. And so I'm telling a little story. And the story is not coming from any of the literature, it's coming from my experience. Well, that's been a quick look at reciteworks.com. There are a couple other features, and you can filter. So, like if you had hundreds of references, you can show only the issues. You can filter by type or by author. Let's see. We can click on this icon up top and look at the citations on the left and the references on the right, which is very handy. For that alphabetical author issue, there's one more feature. If we look here, and if I clicked on, first off, only the issues, and then I clicked on this red text here, notice it will sort it for me. And so it'll organize it so the single authors are now up front. Now it has not changed my document, so I need to go to the document and fix it according to their recommendations. Secondly, it's not checking all of the information after the year. It, it only looks at it to determine where does the next reference start. So if you have problems in this part of it, you'll have to go look those up yourself. Well, I'm Dr. C, and this has been a quick look at a tool called reciteworks.com, and this is Recite Beta by Foresight Labs. Keep on writing. Have a great day. Bye-bye.